without further ado, let's start the tutorial. First, you have to search A4 in Canva, scroll down until you see this template that I'll be showing you. So what I did is I removed all the elements and go to the Elements tab, click Frames, and click See All. Let's continue to scroll down until we see the element that we need to use. So there you go, so I just searched for the photo card size which is 55 by 85. So for the first step, you have to change the outline color to white so that it will be seamless to the A4 document. Next is to adjust the weight to 57 and the height to 85. Don't worry if the size is not accurate as of the moment because we will edit it later in Microsoft Word. Next is to make multiple copies of this frame, so just right click, select copy, and then there you go. I did 9 copies so that I'll be able to occupy the paper that I'll be using for printing later. For the fun part, I know all of you are familiar with Pinterest and we just have to search the photo card or selka that we want from our K-pop idol. So for me, I search for BTS Suga's selka and then I'm just gonna pick any from these and then copy and paste it to the Canva template that we made. Once you're done, just click the share button, click download, adjust the size to the highest one, and then click download again. We are getting closer to finish all of the steps, so now go to insert tab, click insert picture, and then just choose the photo that we did earlier and adjust the size to 11.58 by 8.19. Also, don't forget to wrap this. You can see it right here on the top and then just move the photo card in the middle. And we're ready to print it. Since this is a pre-recorded video, so what I did is a little bit wider than the original photo card, so I suggest you guys to adjust it a little bit to the left or to the right so that it will be a bit smaller. But the height is already fine. So for the printing process, just go to File tab, click Print, and then you're done. So I have here my two official photo cards from Love Yourself album and Butter, and then I'll compare it to the ones that I printed. So I am not comparing the quality because the photo card on the left, which is the official one, is probably better than the ones we printed. And I also made this tutorial because as we all know, not everyone can afford a photo card like me. I don't really invest in photo cards that much, and I only have this because it's a gift from a friend. By the way, as you can see here, um, the photo card that we did is a little bit wider, so if you follow the step that I told you earlier to adjust it to the left or right, you'll get the right size. I am really happy with the results, so now let's put them all in my binder.
put them back. I look, you want to put it right here. 